The impact of Alternaria on yield is, is very significant. Crops can quickly become infected if the conditions are, are right, and that can render crops defoliated within a matter of weeks in extreme scenarios. It's the 1st of August and we've come to the trial site in Norfolk, consisting of two varieties, both seemingly very susceptible to Alternaria. We need to understand this early blight disease better. So we need to understand its biology and which species make up the whole epidemic. The way this organism propagates is uh, by creating spores. Those spores we harvested in a liquid suspension and we're going to use this to spray the canopy of the potato crop. We would expect to see plots uh, becoming infected very rapidly and we'll be assessing these plots every week, both for the ground level and also using drone technology. The great thing about using drones is it helps you to identify areas of possible stress leading to infection, so whether that be areas where there's less nitrogen being applied or where the irrigators fail to, uh, to reach, for example. This trial is a step on from the work that we've been doing with, with Jane Thomas, uh, Nayab and Yanis Balsakis. This year we're hoping to generate more data to go towards a 3D model which should help the industry to understand more about how Alternaria comes into crops but fundamentally how the disease is controlled. It's called a functional structural plant model. It's quite a new approach in modelling and it marries a 3D architecture with processes that govern plant growth. So what we want to do here is get the data out of this field experiment of how disease grows and feed it into our model. The model will allow us to predict potential losses and potentially give us the best times that we want to control for the disease. So if the disease comes very late in the season, maybe we just leave it alone or we have to spray. Uh, so you can simulate all those different timings and get different results. We're hoping to gain decent results looking at fungicide performance, so AMP4 Plus in this trial, which combines mandipropamid with difenconazole. And it has a high loading of difenconazole, so at 0.6 litres a hectare, you're getting 150 grams applied, uh, which should do the job very effectively at controlling the Alternaria infection. At the end of the season, we'll collect all the data and we'll be able to see how effective the fungicide strategy was. We'll also be able to see what the impact of Alternaria infecting this crop has been on the yield. We'll share those results with you. And in the meantime, if you'd like to know more about potatoes and what Syngenta are up to, please visit our website. <laughs>